coloring and the feathers that you're seeing during that breeding season, I'm the on on the on the feathers seem to be very effective. Gentlemen, take hmm. uh, these Can I step birds in front to take the video? Clown birds, as you can see from their lovely coloring that they've got on the front, and a group of puffins is also known as a circus. Now, Move your, your hands, Riley. Really. Move your hands. Multiple fish at a time. So if you're looking and what we're doing right now, this is called a broadcast feed. So that's basically when we're throwing a handful of food into this exhibit, and whoever is hungry is more than welcome to come up and take a bite. But you might notice some of the birds catching more than one fish at a time. In fact, if you take a look at the placards above your heads, you'll notice that they can hold so many fish that it looks like a little bit like a fishy mustache. Now they're able to hold up to 10 to 12 fish at a time in their mouth depending on the size of the fish. Now how they're able to do that is they use the top roof uh, of their mouth and their tail to hold the fish up on the top of their mouth. And then they use the bottom half of their mouth to continue to continuously collect more fish. That way they're able to get more fish um, per dive essentially, so more bang for your buck, so they're not expending as much energy diving down. Now we do have two more species of birds Wait, in this exhibit. Over on the, I can't see, uh, right in the middle, those black and white birds, the, the birds with the black bodies and the white stomachs look a little bit like penguins. Those are our common murs. Our common murs are the diving champions of this exhibit. They are able to go down to depths of about 500 feet. Really, really impressive considering that I can go maybe five feet before my ears start yelling at me. Um, so it's really, really cool. And per dive, they're catching one fish at a time. So imagine having to dive so many times that you're catching one fish at a time. Because as you can see, they've got those skin in the face and the puppies do. Now last but not least, our last species of bird in this exhibit is going to be our pigeon gillon. I just saw one swim by right in the middle. Those are the smaller black and white birds, all black bodies with the white spots on the back with the bright orange feet. Um, now, pigeon gillabons are near and dear to my heart because we're actually seeing them off of our back deck right now. So right now is the breeding uh, season for these gillabons and they actually like to breed up underneath the back deck of our aquarium. So you can actually hear them before you see them. They have a really high pitched whistling sound that you will hear before you see these cute little divers um, off of our back deck. Now, like I mentioned before, these are seagulls. They will be spending a majority of their time out at sea. Uh, they will